Hi, my name is Brooke. Hi, my name is Rayma. Hi, I'm Sophie. And my name is Rita. And we are Tico. Our business, Tico, stands for token economy. In other words, another currency system. Because of the upcoming marches and protests for inequality, we decided to help women in need. So we visited our local women's shelter and asked what they needed help with. I run a program at the women's shelter for tra traumatic brain injury that's domestic violence related and I also chair a committee that uh, is, works on internal motivation with our clients. They told us about a currency system they use called shelter bucks. So the shelter buck system was put into place to help with internal motivation and to motivate clients to get certain tasks done and to become more self-sufficient. Clients complete tasks, things like chores, they get paperwork done, uh, go to mental health appointments, things like that. We give them uh, bucks that they then can reimburse for items that we uh, open in our store. The issue was the shelter buck system was completely made out of paper causing it to be extremely inefficient and unorganized. So we decided to make an app to help fix that. We decided to ask one of our teachers, who also uses a currency system, how his works. How has your currency system improved kids' behavior? I think the currency system allows me to give them a reward right away, especially when they're answering a question at the board. It gives them that immediate feedback, and I think that makes them feel uh, positive about answering the question instead of just answering the question. Has the system helped your students' work, work ethic? Yes, because as I've been um, teaching over the years, I've noticed that some students are motivated by extrinsic rewards. Not everybody has the internal motivation to do their best. And this gives the students that um, they want to strive, they want to earn something, they feel like they're getting something for what they're doing. Taking his methods into consideration, we began to work. Throughout all of our meetings, we learned paper prototyping, how to design a logo in Photoshop, did a lot of coding, and had a little fun. To say Ticos! Tico. <laughs> hey guys! Oh. <laughs> After five months of work, our app was finally finished. How do you think the app will impact the residents using it? I think the residents will be very excited about it. Uh, I think that it will uh, encourage them to do more of those things uh, that, that will earn them those bucks. Uh, I think it will ultimately help uh, get them uh, f further on the path of self-sufficiency. They loved it. We're all so grateful that we got the opportunity to help out an organization we're all incredibly passionate about. We are Chico, and we help local women in need get back on their feet with, with all, all our hearts. hearts.